Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. I'm here with my father, Kevin. And today we are doing Mac Miller swimming. You haven't seen any comments about this guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every second comment <laughs> has been Mac Miller. So I'm really excited about this album, but I'm also a little bit um, trepidatious because there's just been so much talk of it. It's been really, mm -hmm. really, really highly anticipated. Um, not just this album, but Mac just in Mac, general. Exactly, Mac. You know, I'm getting all the Macs, right? Yeah. Right, all the Mac stuff is coming through. Um, and so it, it's really, um, it's going to be, uh, a, I know, the, I know. you know, obviously what's happened to him. I know a little bit of the history from some of the comments people have been writing and I've been reading. So it's going to be a bit of a tough listen, I think. Uh, I, I think it will be uh, yeah. for, for me, for you, for people watching as mm -hmm. well. Um, but... It's definitely an album that we need to check out um, that I think is kind of essential. Where is this in the discographies of... Uh... So this was his last record before he passed away. Um, okay. He passed away in September of 2018, and I believe this came out in August of 2018, so it was very close to his his passing. Young. It, He's young, right? Yeah, I think 26, I believe. Oh, or wow. Something. Shit. Um, but... Yeah, it is a fantastic album. And then he came out with a, a second piece to this album, uh, posthumously. Mm -hmm. That's how you say it, right? Uh, I think so. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> posthumously. Oh, posthumously. 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 Um, titled Circles um, in 2020, which is also a fantastic album. Uh, but we'll start here. Okay. And uh, yeah. This will give me a, a really good feel. I think so. Oh, right yeah, on. for sure. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, we do have a second channel now where we're going to be posting things like vlogs and making other, music and yeah, just other kind of content. Yeah. Um, so you can check it out. It's linked in the description. I'll link you guys to the first video we have on there. Uh, if you haven't seen it already. Okay. We'll get into track number one, which is titled come back to earth. My regrets look just like texts I shouldn't send And I got neighbors that more like strangers In my own way, this feel like living Some alternate reality Too stressful waters to relieve Now I know who and Mac is <laughs> yeah. Wow Wow, Connor. So that is track number one. That is seriously, I thought he was, uh, anyways, that's wow. L lyrics, there's orchestration there, jazz. Yeah. Wow, man. And then there's oh, there's so much in this song right away. It's so, so absolutely beautifully done. But the even the lyrics that I just resonated with so much was the sunshine. Like, that one came out to me so strongly. Don't feel right when you're inside all day. Yeah, don't you know that the sunshine don't feel right when you're inside all day? Like, I've, I've had so many of those moments in my life, and that line just really, really hit me hard, right? That was... Yeah, I know that exact feeling, like, you know, when it's it's super nice out, but you you just feel like shit, and you're inside the house, and, and, and yeah, and just it just doesn't feel right. just doesn't feel right, and that line really hit me. I did not expect... Um, Mac to be singing already. I, th I didn't know that. Oh, you thought he just rapped? I thought it was just, I didn't know that it was singing. Like, I didn't know it was this. I thought it was just rap and um, just flowing and stuff like that. It was, um, that was a big surprise to me, honestly. Mm. Really, I didn't know. And it was just the orchestration and the jazz and just his voice in general, man. Yeah, it's very comforting. It's so good. It's so comforting, right? Yeah. That was, um, that was a real eye opener. Surprised. I'm super, super surprised in such a good way. Mm. 
right? Because yeah. this is my very first introduction. I've heard nothing else. Yeah, you haven't heard any of the Single song, singles yeah. or anything yeah. popular. Or anything yeah, so like this that. is like this for to me is wow is a, such is a wow moment for me. I was moved by it lyrically, soulfully, everything it moved me. I think I'm in for a real special one here. I really yeah. do. Just from that, if that's any indication. Track number two is titled Hurt Feelings. I like the that jazziness in this. Yeah. I'm always saying I won't change, but I ain't saying everything's different. I can't complain. Yeah, I paid the cost to see apostrophes. That means it's mine. Yeah. Keep to myself, taking my time. Always into some bullshit and out of line. Turn the ignition, I'm driven and sitting pretty. Listening to Whitney and whipping it through the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man on a mission, figure it out. Putting way too much on my shoulders. Please hold me down. I ain't saying. I love those vocals. Yeah. I can't complain. Don't know what you The harmonies there. The harmonies are beautiful. Shame on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame on you. Yeah. Everything is strange. That's just a game. And lift it. Now we Such a different mix again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. freaked me out at the end <laughs> what was <I> fucking <laughs> okay so um, that's track two that is a totally different track than the first track yeah yeah um i really like it, the the uh the lineage the how I'm gonna, what word am i gonna use here or how it's so even all across that whole song mm. it's so nice and it's it's in terms of the mix in or? terms of the mix yeah it's just right across even and it's just like really ear appealing you know mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right lyrically it's uh lyrically it's one i think i have to go through again right yeah yeah of course first through but the song overall is uh it's it's a really really cool track man it's he's um he's gonna be interesting to explore uh all around his discography you know that mm -hmm. well you what was your impression because i i mean you haven't heard mac miller but i you didn't know much about him before we started the youtube channel but you didn't know about him right i didn't know his name and and, and, I, and his face and stuff like that right yeah but you just kind of assumed he was just uh like i on, honestly i thought he was just sort of uh uh, uh like um somebody who wasn't respected in the industry in terms of uh an artist yeah i just, just got that feeling kind of like a frat boy rapper yes yes yeah. exactly i thought it was that because that's kind of how he came out like uh starting his career yeah it was like that kind of frat boy rap um well that's sort of what i what i thought my initial thing was just that he's he's and and i and not knowing a lot about hip-hop and stuff like that i thought he was a sort of an outsider in terms of of anybody hiding uh, holding him in any type of high regard you know mm -hmm. what i mean so was it a shock to you when you heard that a lot of people held him in a huge, yeah, huge? When you first told me, I was like, "What?" I thought he was just, you know, just, you know, just like held off to the side, right? Yeah. And um, and after that opening track and this track here, man, it's just I'm, it's starting to envelope and open up and yeah. understand who he is, right? Track number three. What's the use? That's odd, eh? Yeah, it's way back there. <laughs> so something's gonna freak me out. Shit. Oh, <laughs> wicked, eh? I'm not going to worry about if these are samples or not. I'm just going to dig the music because it's I'm, not a sample. No. no, it's okay. You can love it. It just freaks me out. I just want another minute with it. Fuck a little. What's the use? I like these lyrics. Yeah. Okay, we caught it in the breeze, but the breeze ain't flowing like me, motherfucker. Hold up. You don't need to hold up. 
make it up way up where we on space shuttle elon time we don't waste much fuck when we wake up and i have her sang just like celine dion catch me if you can but you'll never catch me damn yeah the time is ticking come take a rack inside this is highly different i'm talking flack that was wicked hey why you tripping give me something that your eyes can with us I love that phrasing, eh? Should I work too hard to have a clue who you are? Set the bar so far above par We could parlay all day Crib long range with the yard I know I should probably pray more But you gotta love me Whoever's playing that four string, man I believe it's uh, Thundercat. Playing bass? Yeah. Wow. Wicked, wicked thunder. You can love it. You can leave it. You're saying nothing without it. Don't let them keep you down. That was a really nice surprise. That bass is stuck in my head. Hey? <laughs> boop, 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 yeah. boop, 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 boop. Who's Thundercat? Is a bass player? Yeah, you, you don't know Thundercat? No. Yeah, he's a well, multi-instrumentalist. Uh, he's got wow. his own records as well, which are pretty good. Thundercat on the bass. Like, <laughs> seriously. Man, the, the chorus in that is so good. His phrasing? Yeah. This and is a surprise to me. It's wow. Yeah, this, this one I'd say is closer to that first track in terms of the instrumentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I do love how he comes in and flows at certain parts and it like, that's where I, ju yeah. I jump like whoa where does that come from man <laughs> yeah it just kills it like that and then uh he's yeah. got a great good voice i love his voice i know it's i thought he I, look again i just i thought he was just going to be spitting stuff out yeah he's he's got a very unique singing voice um i don't know what you would compare it to to be honest yeah you know what fuck I, it's weird how you'd get into like i realize now he's not here anymore yeah. That's a shitty thing. And I just, I'm just, you know what I mean? No, anyways, I'm not going to go down that path, but I just, now I'm just like, wow, this is this fucking talented dude, man. He's like so, so talented. He's not here anymore. Yeah. It's, it's really sad to think about, especially considering how young he was too. And like yeah. how much of a career he could have had. Yeah. Like, Cause he started his career when he was super young, you know, um, rapping and then you just saw his evolution go yeah like through his mixtapes and albums and uh it really seemed like you know toward like when he got to swimming it was like he was really starting to perfect this new sound and he was, oh wow uh, so it yeah it's uh it's shitty to think about about like where he could have continued to go yeah because that's man that's that's well crafted music man yeah like it's beautiful like to you know, you know how hard I try to struggle <laughs> to make fucking a two minute song that sounds cool. Yeah. It's hard, man. It's like that is talent. That's talent embodiment right there, man. Track number four is titled Perfecto. Well it ain't perfect, but I don't mind because it's worth it. Who really has the time at all? As hard as it gets. Cool, calm, and collected. Holding my breath, this ain't what I expected. Don't argue to death. I'm treading water, I swear. That if I drown, I don't care. They call it for me from the shore. I need who really has the time. You can sure feel his struggles in his lyrics, eh? 100%. It's just right out there, man. It's perfect, but I don't mind. That one hits me big time, yeah. man. That's Mac? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Change. This is really powerful, this pre-chorus. Mm -hmm. Just play it cool, baby. Just play it cool. You know, cool. <laughs> yeah. Seen it all unfold, sat back and watched. No one time don't give a fuck about clocks until they stop. <laughs> well, Bare feet running late. Wow. 
Wow, man, that's okay. That's a heavy track. The pre-chorus is. I don't know why the pre-chorus hit me so hard with the. I'm treading water. I know if I stop moving, I'll float. Then it, then, then it hits the chorus, and it's just like, it's just such a good chorus, but it's so sad. Yeah, it's very dark to to look at it, like especially looking with hindsight. And I, like, that's what I'm doing now in every song. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely harder to listen to now than when it initially came out. And uh, I think the thing that was like so tough for people when he passed was this album did seem like he was he talks about his struggles but you can hear kind of like the hope that he has yeah uh through the lyrics yeah fuck um whereas some of his other work has like like my favorite project by mac is uh faces his mixtape which we have up there yeah and uh the lyrics on there are, are pretty dark and he's in this kind of drug habit addiction world mm -hmm. um but it has, I, I feel like Faces has less kind of hopefulness than uh than Oh, this. really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like this seemed, you know, you listen to this and it, when when he passed, people were just so surprised and, and shocked because I, I know the lyrics have that, you know, the dark tone and, yeah. and underlying themes yeah. and stuff. Um, but people just didn't think it would, you know, that's you. You know what? So and, and you, you and I know this, and and lots of the viewers know this. You don't really people people talk about it, and they and they and they, and they you know they write about it and say things about how they're feeling and how they're where they you know they're they're in that in that state. Mm -hmm. You just don't think it's ever going to happen. That yeah. something. It just that's life is not as shitty that way, right? Yeah. Is that um, you used to have people? I used to one of you know one of the guys i had always admired and, and he two of them were chris cornell and um anthony bourdain yeah they you know they left so early in this uh and and they i don't know it's it's such a strange thing when shit like that happens right it's just because not a lot of people see it coming really. no it's like it catches everybody by surprise Exa really. yeah because you don't know like just like that that one line there that everything looks like mm -hmm. everything you look fine yeah. You know what I mean? How many times did somebody say, oh, you look fine. You look fine. You say, well, you don't know what's going on in here, man. Yeah. You know? You can every put you can put on a facade and smile and do that shit, right? Yeah. I don't know how many times I went in my worst state ever to go meet people and and For I put work. on the, put in, a, in a work meeting with a, like with a bunch of people and I put on such a fucking phony thing. I was falling apart inside. I wasn't, I was just such a, such a mess. But I was in there going, Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, we changed the schematics and all that bullshit, right? But yeah. I was just as soon as I got out of there, it was just like. So those people like probably saw you. Oh, Kevin's fucking. He's his, fine. Yeah, his no, life he, is great. He's, his life is great. Everything, but it, you know, it isn't always that way. When you look at people, you know, this has been a topic of discussion between you and I forever. Track number five is titled "Self Care." A lot of interesting sounds on this so far. Yeah, I love the soundscape that's on this album they had some really cool flanging two songs ago that was going on on this yeah i love the vocal panning and yeah the how it was going back and forth yeah 
And I like how Mac holds really, no, like he held a note there, really, like I didn't. Yeah, it holds it really long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's way right there. <laughs> Same song, right? Yeah, yeah. Is this a beat switch? Mm -hmm. Oh, beat switch. Didn't know what I was missing. Now I see a little different. So good. That was something special, man. <laughs> the second half. Second half really blew my ass off. <laughs> Wow, it was beautiful. His phrasing, yeah, the way I I I was closing my eyes for a second when he was talking about the forty, sitting in, in the listening to the forty fives, and it's it's hell or war outside. Is it war? Mm, yeah, some, yeah, it's still a war outside. Like yeah. that, this whole thing was just from the beat switch on, man. That really was like something. Yeah, like, hey, you, it you almost feel like that? teleports you into a different. Oh, place. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, somebody fucking messes with your head and then goes bloop and you pop out somewhere else. You're like, what, the, what is this? Yeah. I'm, I'm in oblivion. Then, like yeah. that. And the, his vocal, like how you mentioned, like holding notes. Oh, just the oh my god, the way he just th that that one piece. I'd like to listen to this again. Um, I slide in and then I roll the roll yeah, out. Roll, the roll out is really out. nice and long. <laughs> All those little things make things so much, just so much more. You know what I mean? To the ear, it just gives you that, wow, that's fucking so cool because it's just different. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, that's one thing I love uh, about Max music is uh, the elongated notes and then the, like, pitch shifting yeah. vocals. And like, those, and the, do, 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 yeah, in the, in the head. Yeah, as well, yeah. I have to be honest with you. I am, like, we're, uh, we're at this track here and... I'm getting sadder and sadder as I go, and I and I'm I'm not gonna cry here. I promise you, I'm not gonna cry. But just knowing he's not here anymore because I can't hear anything new. I can go back, but I mean, when someone's at this level and doing that kind of shit like that, I can't imagine what the future would have brought. Yeah, yeah, I know. I really mean, can't imagine how the how like when you're that 26 and you're writing that kind of shit. Yeah, at that age, you know. It's, uh, I know it's, it's, uh, I was, fuck, I was just, I was playing a G chord playing with my dick at 26, man. <laughs> this is like so intellectual and beautiful and well thought out and, and, and deep, mm -hmm. emotional, um, musically constructed beautifully. Like it just, it's, it is sad. It's sadder as we go. So, yeah, that's, that's the problem with the, is this, know. is this, I want to ask you, is there a reason why you put this off for long? It's been a it's been a long time. Yeah, it's just a tough listen. Think, yeah, yeah. Especially, I don't know. I was I've been a Mac Miller fan since like like I remember when my friend uh, showed me a song off Kids in 2011, mm -hmm. um, and then so I've been a fan of him, you know, since very close to his when he started. Yeah. Um, and then this being, I mean, this album is not as hard to listen to as his album after this that was released after his death. Yeah. That one is a, a really tough listen, I'd say. Um but yeah, it's just uh Does it does it make it easier that this album, like you said earlier, that it, it, it there is this that that hope that's in there? Does that make it an easier listen? Because you know that there was hope in there and then it was there was some kind of I don't know. I don't know if that makes it easier or harder. Maybe I think, harder. I think harder. You're because right. Because if it yeah. was just the darkness that and you know that was just surrounding the lyrics and it was all kind of hopelessness yeah. and then he passed it would be really shitty um but it, it sucks that there's that he had hope yeah yeah that's true track number six wings <laughs> 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 
Yeah. I got a bone to pick like roses, roses. I ain't feeling broken no more. Bought a fist that got spin, I know this. Talking shit, I wander through the motives. Wind in my face. Don't stop now when I feel so great. You can run till you slip on the sidewalk and the same bone that you pick on break. That's a motif. That's a motif. Yeah. I put some money on forever, but I. Hey. Don't like to gamble on the weather, so I. Wow, he's so um, amazing at mixing emotions. Yeah. Well, moving so fast, the clock looks slow. Slow. Water my seeds till the flowers just grow. Yeah, love so much that my heart get broke. I love the spacing on this pre-chorus. Mm -hmm. It makes those lines just hit you, right? The sun is shining, I can look at the horizon. The walls keep getting wider. I just hope I never find them. No, no. Wow, that was beautiful, man. Yeah. His, those, the lines, where he breaks up the lines. I love, there's so many elements in this track I really, really love. I love when he breaks up the lines and gives a big break in between. Mm -hmm. And then hits you with the next line. And then, then he jumps into the, um, into the, the second part of that. And then he starts introducing the lines quicker, right? Yeah, yeah. The second part of the pre-chorus the pre-chorus yeah yeah and um i just listening to that that thing at the at connor at the it's so weird i don't know if he picked this or what but that yeah i don't know what that what's i don't that. but it sounds to me like there's a disconnection mm -hmm. yeah, like, like it, you're trying to stick a wire into something and or, it's not. And, or or somebody's phone is not connected and it's not getting through it's got yeah. that all i could think of when that was in there and he was talking you hear that in the background it's like somebody's something's not connecting here it's not and maybe i don't know if that sound was Intentional. intentional or if that was that's just my interpretation but it really sounded like there was a disconnect right mm -hmm. it's somewhere well th these songs are so powerful man i can see really see how people resonate with um and why they wanted you to hear this yes it's it's a moving moving album his voice when he introduced when he comes out of his his rap piece and then his voice it's like oh you just want to envelope and hug him yeah you really do yeah no like I, it's you can hear that that like his voice is just calling out right and you just want to say fuck man it's all right that you know what i mean yeah you can feel it in his voice and in the, in the headphones he's right there and it's just that that chorus in the song is so 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 beautiful okay track number seven ladders somehow we gotta find a way no matter how many miles it takes can't stop, then you won't stop I know just how that feel When you're on top, till the ball drop you never seen it be so real Falling down On the night, with the light Turn the day Beautiful vocals, man Feel it a little, feel it a lot I'm swimming a bit, but deeper in thought Keeping my head on top of my shoulders Girl, I'ma, I'ma maintain how I'm staying so high But the ladder all the way up till we touch in the sky And you know you're dead wrong You would love with a lot Is that Thunderdog? Thunderdog. Is that? <laughs> um, I don't know if he's on this one, oh. but it's Thundercat. Oh. <laughs> it has to be. That sounds yeah, wicked. I think, I think it must be. It's such an odd feeling I have right now. Yeah. Like part of me wants to dance to this, but then part of me is really sad. Yeah. I know. You know, it's weird. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the 
This album's progressively getting stronger, like a ladder. Yeah, going up a ladder. It's lights flickering, hitting the right switches. I'm living this life different and missing the flight. Bullshit. I've been in this shit so long that it don't smell. Turn the hotel to a castle. Living like a king for a grand. Gotta find a way. Oh, yeah. So now we gotta find a way. No matter how many miles it takes. With the light. He's, uh,. And right courses too, no, yeah. no doubt, man. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Seriously. What's that? Oh man, this is really fucking. <laughs> oh my god, I got bass face going. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That was killer. <laughs> Seriously, wow, that was so so smoking. You know who Mac reminds me of in the in the last couple of tunes here? Who? He reminds me because they st they start slow, mm -hmm. right? The the track is the couple of tracks started really slow and then yeah. they really picked up pick, pick up, right? He reminds you of a guy that you meet at a party or something like that, and then you say. Um, he, he he's like, hey man, I heard you. You play a little guitar. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I, I play a little bit of guitar, right? just, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. He goes, bing, ba, ding, dong, dong, do, 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 do. and then like, then he warms up, and then because he's pretty shy and introverted, and then before you know, he's like, bing, do, 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 do. he's playing some fucking <laughs> classical and shit. Like, where did that come from? Yeah, that's exactly what happened here. Yeah, it started off just. Uh, it just started off like, okay, then then I'm just. I'm, I'm, you know what you know those you know when you're shy right mm -hmm. we're, we're both shy people believe it or not yeah um and then you you finally just have a moment where you just want to let loose and, and just say shine yeah the world i'm here and this is what i'm doing and i'm going to show you and, and 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 that's how mac i just felt there it was just like on that track yeah. that track was for me was like the right now the highlight of the album because it just it really the horn sections and everything about it and come and it again it made me fucking sad but it made me feel fucking fantastic and i felt guilty for wanting to jive to it and groove no i don't think you should feel guilty because like not that i know mac miller personally but yeah i think from what i've seen through interviews like he would want people to move to it to move to it and just yeah. enjoy his music well and, and not be you know i'm cranking that one after right mm -hmm. in on speakers and i'm just gonna dance to it yeah and just let loose because I felt I felt awkward here right now, to be honest. I because I, I want I was starting to you know just, I was starting to just feel music the way I feel music, and I'm like fuck, I'm sort of somber. Yeah, it's a you know. Yeah, no, it is. It is a, a weird kind of thing. To mix, balance, yeah, I know. But. It's like yeah, like you know, if I'm gonna listen, to Sam, I was listening to Sam Cook the other day like crazy, right in mm -hmm. the garage. I was out there doing some shit, cleaning the garage, and I had Sam Cook on. I don't know much about history, and I'm dancing away, but Sam's it's a long time ago and sam was older and that kind of thing it's so different because it's like such a, he's like a, you know your age type you know yeah with a couple of years difference and stuff like that right so yeah it's it's, such, it's like you know jamming out to david bowie or something like that or yeah yeah it's, you know the, yeah you're sad that he's gone but it's like david bowie past it how old is he 70 something yeah so it's a really different feeling i'm feeling right now especially being a father right mm -hmm. like it's from a father's point of view it's like i can't imagine what his family and friends and all that feel like it's must be so fucking devastating yeah well i think he was his death was one that like really just affected everybody in the music industry because it's it's really hard to find somebody that's like a mac miller hater like well, yeah, really, most yeah. almost everybody like yeah. loved him just uh -huh, as a man. person, and they all have like great stories about him and whatnot. Just like what I was talking about with J. Cole, I would like to how I I was introduced to J. Cole and through Nardwar that interview, and then I I for through his album, I liked him even more. I'm gonna go sort of backwards on this one because we're listening to the album, and I haven't really I just haven't seen anything on on Mac. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to see him. Like I know there's a. I know there's a people have been a lot of comments about watching a tiny desk that he did. Yeah, he has a great tiny desk for this record. For this there. one, oh, okay, that's what we're doing. We're gonna watch this after because yeah, yeah, we can. I want to see that, like, just how he is. I don't know him, you know, yeah, any, any history, right? So, track number eight, Small Worlds. The world is so small till it ain't. Yeah, 
I'm building up a wall till it break. I love his tone here. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know it all, but I don't. Why you always at the mall when you're broke? I've been thinking too much, but keep it on the hush. No one need to know, just us. That's really all it takes. We don't need nothing but today, 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 today. I hope I never keep you waiting. Wow, the mic they used on this is nice, eh? Yeah, his vocals sound like they're like right, right. I know. Next to you. He's a. Very, I'm gonna say it while we got. I can see we got a lot of yas. Um, his. I love the way his delivery is just sort of like this. Yeah. Like. Got a bad attitude. Playing till I'm out of moves. No need for shame. I get more peace at slow speeds. There's somewhere above you keep reaching up. Mm. That's really all it takes. Yeah, his, his tone is like not aggressive in any way. It's not, no. it's just very laid back. And it's not, it's not too laid back though. Yeah, yeah, it's not like he's sleeping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's right in that nice ground. But when he was just flowing there for a second and then he started singing, it was just like, fuck, wow. <laughs> Yeah, nine times out of ten I get it wrong. That's why I wrote this song. Tell myself to hold on. I'm tired, I don't got a spare second. When I lose, when I lose, I don't keep counting, nobody checking. That outro was something else. Just the piano and his voice, mm -hmm. like that was really, really, really cool, man. And the lyrics there were, uh, and the lyrics there are really, really strong. It's, it's really, again, I'm listening to the beauty of Mac Miller, and I can say that because that's what I'm, that's what I've, I'm hearing since the beginning of this album. It's just absolutely beautiful, amazing artist. And then to read the lyrics here, right? I can feel my fingers slipping in a motherfucking instant. I'll be gone. Like all this is just, yeah, it's hard. To it's listen tough to. to listen to when you, you know, I, I don't know Mac Miller, but again, as a father and as a human, yeah, you look at artists and, and, and young people that are that talented and they're gone so quick. It's just, it's really sad, man. Really sad. Yeah. And that's not even like the first time, like there's some other lyrics on his older records that are even like harder to listen to. Mm -hmm. Um, just, because he was like self-aware of like the struggle, his addiction struggles and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So he knew that, you know, but I think when you're in that mindset, like you, you're aware that you could go any day. Yeah. Um, but you don't really kind of grasp that reality. Yeah. Or at least you don't, you're not affected by it as much. So his, he went by overdose, right? Yeah. Well, sad but shit, man. Then again, I think everybody kind of gets in that mentality of kind of like everybody knows that they could go at any second but they don't think about it like they don't realize no the you know well part of me you know you know you and i again viewers me and connor talk quite deep all the time right and we're chatting about stuff and that and i think that is um that's one thing i always keep in my mind is that it's not oh my god i could go an instant i don't keep that negative thing i just really really root myself in the belief that i'm enjoying this moment right now so that's what, uh, that's my word of the day, my phrase of the day, All right. my saying of the day. <laughs> um, we'll keep going. And yes, the foot is out. I'm sorry. Anybody's going to talk about the foot, that, that foot so long. Okay, we'll move on to conversation part one. We ain't on the same shit, no way. You ain't from my planet, we don't speak the same language. This is an occasion, ain't it? Where you from? Who you came? Started in the basement. Made it way above the top. Now I'm in the spaceship. In the spaceship. Shit is spacious. Lacing up my sneakers, I'll be running out of patience. Yeah, it ain't your money till you make it. Otherwise, it's just a conversation. From the pavement. Yeah, it ain't your money till you make it. The music it. and Mac's voice are super hypnotic in this track. 100%. 
My head hasn't you stopped doing this. Has it? No, it it's constant. Right. At least let's see if I'm still on the meter though. I'm feeling good and hated. I don't recognize these faces. Where you from? Where you came? All the verb on that make brought it to another atmosphere, eh? Yeah, I think the best way to describe that track is, like you said, hypnotic. It's very hypnotic. And, you know, it could be taken, like, if the way he's the way he's spitting his lyrics and the way the music is and stuff like that, you think that you would get bored of it at the, like, the beginning, but it really entrances you as you're going on. It be, mm. And it's the softness and the sincerity in his voice. Yeah, 100%. It's that real sincerity in his voice, and it's, man, in the basement, right? It's yeah. like he just pulls you in, and it's not, you know, if he was doing other stuff, it, his voice really is, is encapsulating. It just pulls you right into him. Yeah, if he was really aggressive or doing kind of like a in rap what they call like a triplet flow where it's yeah. just kind of the same thing yeah um over and over or uh anything else really it, it could have gotten boring yeah but um, it's just it's that nice laid back feeling man yeah and then, then the bass. that's one track i could just have on like doing whatever yeah i i think this is the one thing with this album is it's very like calming in a way like you listen to it and you're not the whole thing is calm yeah even though like there's 808s and there's some some you know trap hi-hats and, yeah. and claps and stuff and um and even the upbeat songs like they're they're still calm they have this calm element to them i you couldn't could just, agree more you could just kind of relax and you're not yeah not you know like, who it, i'm going to tell you something who's going to dig this album but of all the albums we dug the most who mom oh yeah she will i'll play this and i won't tell her who it is yeah, she'd probably like it. No, she will like it. I know that. It's just it's got that thing about it. It's it's got the jazz elements. It's just the, his voice, his texture. Is it just? It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, yeah, Mum would do right. You're guaranteed. Yeah, I remember we took a trip once and you played uh, someone for Mum in the car, and she's like, "Who is this?" And she freaked out. Remember who oh that was? yeah, I played uh, Anderson Pack. Yeah, uh, but and he's collaborated with Mac Miller. Oh, has he? Yeah. So they've they were like best buddies and, yeah. and whatnot. So they. Um, that kind of makes sense that she would like. Yeah, because yeah, we, you, 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 you know, Connor played it in the car, and then um, and then at the end on the trip, it's like what she was like. Uh, Connor's mom was like, "What is that? What was that?" And it was like, "Oh, Anderson Pack." And then I didn't know about Anderson Pack at all either. And Connor played it for her, and she went, "Can you play that song again?" <laughs> that song, so. <laughs> yeah, but it's that laid back, um, really chill out. You know what I mean? I could sit in, in front of the fire right now and just have a drink and just listen to the whole album and have it really loud. Yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't need to be like. You know, unless there's some 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 crazy shit coming up next. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's nothing irritating on here. Yeah. Track number ten. It's titled "Don't Know." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we was fucking almost missed my flight. Wasn't even tripping, I said it's alright. Yeah. You was coughing when you hit my weed. But I've never seen you feel that free. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me happy. <laughs> so cute, you wanna be like me. Until, until there is no longer. I was busy when you hit my phone But you missed me, told me come back home I love his spacing, look how much space there is, eh? Yeah, and you don't really like to sleep alone Makes the lyrics hit harder Yes, I'm yeah I'm too long I'm always taking too long Oh, I wanna feel just how you feel Touch it one more time so I know you're real We could spin that wheel Wouldn't you rather get along? Okay, that gave me the shivery giggies <laughs> Shivery giggies <laughs> That was... <laughs> oh well
That was absolutely stunningly beautiful. Mm -hmm. I got one tear, left eye. It was just so well done. Um, I got lost in my thoughts just now. I, I I have so much to say about this track. It's 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 okay. First off, I know Cunny Cuddy Cunny <laughs> Cunny. I, I know Cuddy brought vulnerability. Mac is vulnerable in these songs. I love seeing him be that soft gentleman. Mm. I love hearing that. Right. I just all the lyrics, just to, the little thing that made me smile. I just love. When you was coughing, when you hit my weed, but I've never seen you feel that free. Someone to be so interpretive, to just be happy to see someone else be so free. Mm. Just beautiful. Yeah. Um, his. I want to just say something about his infectious voice. His voice, and it's this chunk right here. That he uses. That That is that that thing about it. I, it's just, you just, I can't even do it. I'm <laughs> yeah. not, I cannot. I sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> It's that thing that just pulls you in, man. And uh, you yeah. just, you want more of it. It's just that it's, you know, like, I can't explain it. You know what I mean though, right? Yeah, I you're think like, it's, all the viewers will know what you're talking about. It's right well. there. It's just there. And then him to just be talking um, to whoever he's talking to so specially and just being so happy. Just all those, just a beautiful track, man. Really, really, really wow. Yeah, what more can you really say? It's a, uh, yeah. It's a beautiful kind of love song until there is no longer let's get lost inside the cloud right yeah and you you got to work harder i can calm you down like i just love that like a, go back to cuddy but that vulnerability and, and just him opening up and feeling that you just feel so more much empathy to what he's going through because if somebody's going through a uh, drug addiction and stuff like that and then they can be really nasty and stuff like that to you and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff it's harder to connect emotionally. It's harder to connect to them emotionally, right? Because, and I've, we've had people in, in our lives and that, that it's been tough to, to get that thing because they're making it hard. Mm -hmm. But he's there interpret seeing that somebody else is getting happy and free and all that kind of stuff. And he's feeling that. So you have this, this struggle going on mm -hmm. about, about his own personal struggles, but he's so self, he's so aware that there's a, a, that other part, right? Mm -hmm. And he's looking at other people. So that's, as we, yeah, anyways, an next track, because I don't want to. <laughs> okay, we'll keep moving. Track 11, Jet Fuel. Okay, good thing I got the lyrics for this part. Because you wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Used to want to be a superhero, flying around with a cape and some bad guys. Now my head underwater, but I ain't in the shower and I ain't getting baptized. Yeah. To the good and the bad times, all the cuts, broken bones and the black eyes. And I ain't counting their quits. You can build a wall with your bricks. Well, I keep talking that shit. It's like this. Maybe I can exist forever right here. Let it run. Mm, the production's fantastic, man. Now I'm in the clouds, calm down when I run out of jet fuel. But I never run out of jet fuel. Well, I'ma be here for a while longer than I did expect to. Yeah, I don't say nothing that I don't know. Jumping out the womb wearing polo. Everybody wanna jump in, but I'm old school. Lone wolf, take them on solo. Yeah. I don't need nobody. I don't need to be nobody. I'm well, I'm gonna be here for a while longer than I did expect to. It's another hypnotic type of song. Oh, totally, man. I'm just. <laughs> you know when I shut up, right? Yeah. When I run out of jet fuel. But I never run out of jet fuel. Oh, this, man. This instrument, the, the choice of instruments and the way he is pushing his message across mm -hmm. is just, that brings it to such a, a crazy new level. Yeah. It doesn't, you know what I mean? No, I agree. Having that muted trumpet in there and stuff, it's just. And the percussion on this track yeah, is it's, so unique. That, that big. Yeah.
Same song? Yeah, yeah okay. it's just the outro. Okay. Mac cool. sure can write. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, another hypnotic track. With a sad undertone. Like, I'm assuming that, like, this is about his addiction, and right? Mm. I don't know if jet fuel is a type of drug. You know what I mean? I, I think it's fair to assume that it, it could represent some type of substance that he's uh yeah now i'm in the clouds come down when i'm out of jet fuel but i never run out of jet fuel yeah I never run out of jet fuel i'm going to be here for a while longer than i did expect to um he's just his this album is something else man i really really mean that wholeheartedly and not just because everybody hide, holds it in high regard there's there there's a reason why everybody holds it in high regard because it's fucking excellent yeah yeah, right exactly you just feel it in the music and his lyrics and everything about mac and i'm um, um that like i said with that tr the muted trumpets and the jazz elements mm -hmm. like that's what makes it really really cool yeah and it's just so like i know we said this earlier but it's just so calming and soft it's and soft and calming and just it's it's the dad in me wants to give him a hug yeah really you know that i think everybody wants to give him a hug you know in this Okay, I'm not going to go deep in this. <laughs> okay, we'll keep no, it's going. just it's easy. Yeah. It'd be easy to 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 get really deep in this album. Yeah, and just, just keep going off. Yeah, yeah. We just got to listen to the music because that's probably what Mac wants people to do, right? Yeah. Track number twelve is titled Two Thousand Nine. Is this live or orchestrated or sampled? Do we know? Uh, I believe it's live. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, man. That makes it just much crazier. Yeah. He must play piano, right? He does. Okay, He's really okay. good at piano. Okay. Now every day I wake up and breathe And sometimes, sometimes I wish I took a simpler route Instead of having demons that's as big as my house mm -hmm. Have a ball with it dribble and bounce Cause the party ain't over till they kicking me out Yeah, the lines it ain't 2009 no more Yeah, I know what's behind that door This is killer yeah, they ask me what I'm Wow for. Well, because I've never been this high before like I never felt alive before mm -hmm. I'd rather have me peace of mind than war I don't need to lie no more wow. Nowadays all I do is shine Take a breath and ease my mind and She don't cry no more She tell me that I get her high Cause the angel's supposed to fly I ain't asking why no more Musically, that was my favorite on the track, on the album. Yeah, that's that's my favorite song off the album, uh, personally. That is everything about music that makes music fucking beautiful. And I'm going to throw this back to when you, the first album you showed me in terms of hip-hop was To Pimp a Butterfly. Mm -hmm. I feel between this album and that album is I'm getting schooled in what music should be. Mm. Like what the like the changes and the way things are 
and uh, through this whole process of us listening to the thing, I keep talking about me just trying to get out of that that musical groove that I'm in. Yeah, of just being kind of formulated. Formu- yeah, for, having formulation. And, and to pimp a butterfly, just knock me right across the head. It was like, <laughs> yeah. this is how you do it. Um, this is the same for me. Mm-hmm. The way that, that it started with this orchestration and all that kind of stuff, and then it went into that state. That thing stayed right to the end. Boom, uh, boom, 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 oh, boom. Oh, yeah, the little... Boom, right? All yeah. that, that whole thing, right? But his flow over top and the phrasing and then it's that that music stayed the same but things came and but the chorus was completely there like his going and that's how that's how you do it man that's how you fucking amazing wow (laughs) (laughs) really i don't know what to say and i'm not shitting this is fucking really really great stuff yeah this is where you get the, the the shiver. I still got the shivers. I don't know if it's cold in here or if I'm just really freaking out right now. It is cold in here, but okay. I, I think <laughs> I, I get shivers from that track. Um, yeah. That's my favorite track off the album for sure. Yeah, that hit me in the head. Like, it really did. Yeah. Like, it was just, it was something. Boom, that, that whole, that repetitive thing. Wow. And it's got like a, like that childlike sound. Oh, yes. Gling, 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 gling. Yeah. Which, yeah. which, which, which is, which sort of parlays back to earlier. It It's that young that young youthfulness that vulnerability you know what mm-hmm. i mean i'm still young at what i'm doing you know what's crazy like what was he with this album uh i think he just turned 26 when he released like 26 it. years old and writing this stuff man yeah like it's it blows i told you before i was playing with my dick <laughs> and <laughs> at 26 yeah and trying to learn a g chord Ding, like you know what i mean and it's just like when I look at the, with this, like it's an album, man. It's it's an intricate album with beautiful orchestration and feelings and emotion, all that in there, man. And that's something that he created. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so. It's such. And then back to the beginning here. It's so fucking sad, right? Track number thirteen. So it goes. Yeah. yeah. The world in the palm of your hands, you still might drop it. I'm a slam, we'll call it even. Mm. I bring more flavor than all the seasons. Winter, spring, summer, fall. The grass is always greener till I cut it off. Please lead me to my studies. I give you no applause. My hands been counting money, and it's hard to be the boss, but somebody gotta do it. Really interesting. That sound, eh? Mm-hmm. The percussion. It's like Perc- in yeah. every conversation, we the topic. It's narcissism, more like narcotics, so it goes. Cool. Will everybody gather round? I'm still standing, sit down. So it goes, so it goes, so it goes. Da, 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 da. I'm really digging that. Yeah, yeah. Not lives, never die. Fuck a heaven, I'm still getting high. Never mind. Did I mention I'm fine? Cause her pussy getting wetter when the weather dry. Climbing time, feeling <laughs> off, and everyone get left behind. I'm only 5'7, seven, except I'm feeling like I'm 7'5. Climb it, cross planets, interstellar, never land. On and on, just like a circle, like go back where I'm from. Will everybody gather round. Oh, wow. Still stand and sit down. Whoa, oh. This is a real first sense. Yeah, on the record. Yeah. yeah. But I haven't missed them. Yeah. Yeah, no. Hey? It's not like they needed sense. No, it didn't. It's a little bit strange to hear this right now on the record yeah yeah like there there was maybe a little few bits of of uh of synth stuff maybe smattered in like t- in tiny bits 
But to, mm. to, to end that on that big thing is I wonder what that choice was. It was it was so different, right? Yeah. When mm. there was so much orchestration and, and live stuff going on, right? And jazz. Yeah, you'd and, think that's the direction he would end it in, but yeah, um, that's yeah, that's went very for different. The synth route. But yeah, that's that's the record. That is that that that's a masterpiece. Yeah. That's an absolute masterpiece. Um, front to back, really. Front to back. Is it self-care that I like the most? Uh, you like the second half of self-care. Yeah, uh, second half of self-care was killer. Um, ladders, you really liked. That was yeah. with the uh, Thunder. You said Thunder Dog. Thunder, thunder Cat, sorry, I know now. Uh, 2009. <laughs> yeah. If there's not a Thunder Dog, I might, <laughs> take I might, that I might stay, take that moniker. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> um yeah you love 2009 2009 was my highlight track of that uh of that one right so it goes is is, is stuck in my head this was a beautiful beautiful album um very somber in terms of how because i know how this, this all ended mm-hmm. so it's really it's sad from that point of view but um if i had to look at it from the perspective of just uh hearing it as an, an album for the first time and not knowing any outcomes and stuff like that. Mm. I think it's a really, really matured artist. Yeah. Um, somebody who's like 40 something that's been doing this for a long, long time. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a guy who's, who was 26. No, no. And you, and just, when you just told me, I, that's why I wanted to ask, does he play, does he play piano? Um, because th- this stuff, either like all this orchestration and all this stuff going on, either he's really good at picking up samples from somewhere well, he's good at that, but he does play piano. I know, and then, but like this, this having having this, that this just just the musical element of what's going on. You know what I mean? Like if that, mm-hmm. the, like it sounds like somebody who's been in jazz or something for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. But his voice, man, his voice, the way he the way he has spaces between lines where he he welcomes you in to have give you time to think about the line that he's just said. It's like having a conversation where say, you know. Um, Hey, how is your day going? Yeah, and then and you leave that space. You leave that space, mm-hmm. and then you and I have that conversation. So you have a little bit of time to process what that. he's saying. Yeah, just oh, hey, how's your day going? Hey, has, do you have a cat? Yeah, it's, if you're saying it, yeah, right? really fast, really, yeah. really fast, and and it's like I, I give you the time, and Mac it, Mac gives you the opportunity to think about that line and process it for yourself before he gives you a new line. I think mm-hmm. that's such a brilliant. Writing uh, style, yeah. As as an artist, right? He's not just trying to bombard you with "I'm trying to say this." I'm actually listening to you, mm-hmm. and I think one of those lines with where area with the uh, the song, which I'm assuming is about Grande. I don't know because maybe not with the uh, don't know. Yeah, the weed and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I believe that was, uh, or at least that's what Genius said. Yeah, yeah, says it's about Ariana Grande, but I I just know only one relationship, so I don't even know how long they're together. But I think that really cool, and I keep going back to that little quip where he says. Um, you, you never felt so free when you smoked the weed mm-hmm. or whatever, like that kind of stuff. Is that Mac? And I don't know him, and I don't never will, um, sadly. But he looks like a person from just these things that really, really gives that listener, that person you're with, full attention. Yeah. Just by his spacing and the words that he says and stuff like that, and then um, and just I have so much to say, man. His voice is really. Is, is 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 something you crave and it's that throat area right here kendrick has it too though mm-hmm. yeah no yeah he's not max not the only artist with it but when you when you find an artist with that kind of tone and yeah voice, yeah it's it's really something else yeah and because he's not doing things super fast that that like it's he's not throwing things at you he's just doing it and it's really taking that time to elongate those notes that you really hear it yeah because it he's you know deeper you know you're a deep thro- talker <laughs> deep <thrower. laughs> but deep you talker. If, if when you say when you say something like uh if say you said right now um uh all all the cats are hairy say that all the cats are hairy so then in the cats and the hairy is where you're getting the deepness, right? Yeah. All the, when all the cats are hairy, yeah. and that's what Mac does with his when he's talking. He gets those 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 parts and really sort of emphasizes them, probably without even knowing, because he's just doing it naturally. But yeah, um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's probably a good place to yeah, just beautiful to end it off. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you very soon. Peace. Take care. <laughs>